Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest crypto community in all the interwebs, and it's not even close. My name is Ben. Every day on the channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money and crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, got a quick video for you guys getting ready to go to a little ball tournament today, but I want to talk to you guys about July. We sit here at the end of June. We're not to July yet. But you have to understand the July, this July, is probably going to be the most important month in the history of Bitcoin. Why do I say that? Well, this month's going to determine whether or not we stay on track for a continued bull run, the four-year cycle still intact, or if everything we know about Bitcoin, if everything we know about crypto is going to get burnt to a crisp this month as we enter into a long bear winter, maybe a prolonged cycle. We just don't know. But the fact is, July is going to be huge for a lot of reasons. Now, one of those reasons is something called the B word. That's right, the B word. Uh, basically, what this is, this is a conference uh, that's going to have a lot of big name speakers at it, including Jack Dorsey, including uh, uh, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest. These are going to be, this is going to be geared towards big money. Basically, people who have a lot of money that are not yet invested into Bitcoin. It's definitely going to be you know, having a Bitcoin maximalist bend to it, I'm sure. But if you look back in February, in February, the first week of February, we had a big event led by Michael Saylor where they were trying to draw in the institutional crowd or the, the corporate crowd, excuse me. And a lot of corporations invested into Bitcoin uh, following that conference. But it was a marker. It was something that we could look at and we could say, maybe something's going to happen from here. And we haven't had a lot of those days lately where anything positive has happened. In fact, the only day we've had has been a super negative day, which was yesterday, the closing of the futures contracts for quarter number two. Now, what did we see yesterday? We saw Bitcoin plummet. It actually plummeted into the 30,000s uh, earlier or overnight. Maybe it was late last night. I missed it. I got stopped out uh, on a long position. And frankly, from what I've been told, What's happening right now is really just retail investor movement. Uh, what we happened yesterday, what happened yesterday, and what we experienced yesterday was definitely manipulation on the markets, trying to bang the close, trying to push the price of Bitcoin down before the close of those futures contracts. But the weekends are pretty off, pretty much off limits for a lot of the uh, institutional manipulators. They don't work on the weekends. You know what I mean? What's wrong with them? I work every day. Uh, so what we're seeing right now, I think, is just a reaction to those price drops. Because while you guys watch this video and you may think to yourself, everybody in Bitcoin knows that the futures closed yesterday. We've talked about it extensively for a month now. It's just simply not the case. If you go get any average Bitcoin investor and you talk to them, they probably had no idea that that was going on yesterday. You can try it in your own life. And those are people that you got watching this channel, then of course they know they're educated on crypto. But we, we've got that uh, event to look forward to uh, in July. Now, I've been told, and we'll just see what happens. Prices are going back up around the middle of July. This bit, uh, I can't keep on to call it the Bit Curious Conference. The B Word Conference is going to be on July 21st. So once again, towards the middle of the month, should seem to line up with what we're doing. Mike Novogratz of Galaxy Digital recently said that he believes that to get this bull run continued, we have to have more big money come in and more institutional money coming in. And this is where we're caught in the crossroads of not wanting the institutions to come in from the standpoint of decentralization. We see what they do on the markets. They create paper Bitcoin channels through futures contracts and other investing uh, vehicles. Manipulation, the whole nine yards. These are terrible people. How the, the, I don't even want to get into that, but here's the thing. We do need them to come in to push the price up. If you want Bitcoin to see a new all time high this year, we're not going to get there on uh, retail investors alone especially with the shaking confidence that we've had over the last few weeks and really the last uh, six weeks approximately. So this is what you need to walk away from this video knowing. It's do or die for Bitcoin in July. It's Bitcoin do or die July. That's what we got. Crypto face, he had uh, sell in May, walk away. We've got Bitcoin do or die July. This is where we're going to know what's happening. At the end of this month, if we are not moving upwards, it might be time to be taking the ball and going home, but I'm very confident that we are going to see that. Uh, everything I've been told, everything I've been reading, all the on-chain metrics, all, all the top-bottom indicators, 
These indicate we haven't seen the top yet for Bitcoin this year. The, the stock to flow chart, Willy Woo, a lot of his analysis, everything we have says that's not true. So we'll just have to see what happens. You guys let me know down below in the comments if you think the July is going to see Bitcoin do or Bitcoin die. All right, got some more videos for you guys today. We'll be back live streaming on Monday. That's all I got. Be blessed. Bitboy out.